Hello, friends, and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Rays of Hope, coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. And friend, there's just not a better place to find a ray of hope than in the pages of God's holy and precious Word. Let me invite you today to pick up your copy of God's Word, and if you will, turn with me over to the book of Numbers. Today we'll be in Numbers chapter 9. I want us to look at verse 15 through verse 17. Get that good cup of fresh hot coffee. Let's sit together and have a wonderful encounter with God and His precious Word on this beautiful day. Well, goodness. Praise God. There's not a better way to start a brand new day than a good fresh cup of hot coffee and digging into the truth of God's precious Word. Well, friend, over here in uh, the book of Numbers, chapter 9, beginning with verse 15, listen to what the Bible says. And on the day that the tabernacle was reared up, the cloud covered the tabernacle, namely the tent of the testimony. And at eve there was upon the tabernacle as if it were the appearance of fire until morning. So it was always the cloud covered it by day and the appearance of fire by night. And when the cloud was taken up from the tabernacle, then after the children of Israel journeyed, and in the place where the cloud abode, there the children of Israel pitched their tents. And friend, I pray that God will add his blessings to the reading of his holy word today. Well, you know, whenever we begin to to look at this, Uh, I've titled this series of devotions, Finding God's Way. And that's one of the most important things as children of God that you and I can do is to find the way that God would have for us to go. You know, every Christian should walk the path which God would have us to walk. There are countless numbers, thousands, who, if they were to tell the truth about how they really feel, they would have to admit that they're a bit unsettled inside. Uh, There are many that just don't know what to do, many that don't know where to go, and many that just don't know what to believe. Now stop and think with me for just a moment, dear friends. Would God leave his children Would Christ leave his followers in darkness and confusion? Doesn't a child know uh, his or her parents and what they expect? Doesn't a person know what his or her employer may expect for the wages they earn? Listen, if our earthly relationships are understood, Why in the world can't we count on God more than our earthly relationships? When Israel stood at the edge of the great wilderness after crossing the Red Sea, the thought was in their mind, what next? Where do I go from here? There are no roads, no paths, no tracks in the sand to guide me. What in the world am I going to do? There were no road signs of any kind. God provided guidance. Remember the cloud by day and the fire by night. Well, friend, God always offers guidance if we'll just trust him. Instead of God just releasing his people from slavery and uh, freeing them, he became their travel guide and their provider. Friend, God not only saves us from eternal death and releases us from Satan's hold, he is our daily guide and the provider of what we need as we travel through this journey called life. If God was gracious and mighty enough to rescue the children of Israel from slavery, surely he was mighty and powerful enough to guide them across the great and terrible wilderness that they would travel on. However, listen, in order to be guided by God, there has to be complete surrender and abandonment of self and self-confidence 
in oneself. You've got to empty yourself of self. Oh, I say that so many times. But friends, it's so important that we empty ourselves of self to make room for our guiding spirit that moves within us, the spirit of the living God. All confidence that we have, friend, has got to be placed in God, put in God's trust. Friend, God offers guidance. Will you accept his guiding hand today? Great devotion and a great start to this series titled Finding God's Way. The greatest way to find God's way is to surrender yourself completely to his guiding hand. Think about that. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you, dear Lord, for this powerful devotion and help us use it now for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friend, I pray you'll do just that. Just empty yourself of self and uh, let your uh, being be filled with the Spirit of God. Let him guide you, direct your life, and life will go much better. And listen, remember to smile and let others see the Lord Jesus in you. Uh, hey, it's your life that could be the only Bible some will ever read. So let others see and hear Jesus in all you say and in all that you do. Again, God bless you and have a wonderful Lord's Day.